so in my last video i gave you an idea on how we need to handle the course problem and have the Vue.js application communicate with our Laravel backend service. Now, let us quickly have a basic um, API ready so that so no, we can authenticate users. So before doing that, let us set up our application. So I'll come into my database and I'll use a SQLite database. So in my ENV, I'll just remove everything else. Okay, and once this is done, I need to create this file. So inside database folder, I will have a database.sqlite file. And once that is done, I will come into database seeds, database table seeder. So I'll create a user table seeder. I'll come into PHP artisan, make seeder user stable seeder fine and what we do here is dollar user one equals sorry it's an array we have name which is Amitav Roy my email address <coughs> let's say user dot php email yeah so email okay we need a password and um, yeah nothing else so user create dollar user one okay so this is done i'll call this now let me quickly import the files um hash Hmm. Um, so I'll need to import the hash library. So, so I'll I'll need to add the hash uh, class. So it is inside illuminate support sales and then hash. Okay, and we need to import user as well so that's inside use app user that's done let's quickly do php artisan migrate okay php artisan now let me sqlite browser open up it and see our database so documents code labs server database and this so we have the uh, tables as required and let me quickly do php artisan db seed which will create the user fine once this is done We'll start the installation of passport okay so the first thing which we will have to do is go to our terminal and do composer require laravel slash passport okay okay so once we have the package we need to go to our app.php and in that go down to our service providers and add laravel slash passport okay passport service provider class okay with this done uh, we can then do php artisan migrate again this should install a few additional tables like auth codes tokens to and refresh tokens clients things like that anyways so with that done uh, we need to then install passport or i mean run the command php artisan passport 
install okay what it will do is this will create the encryption keys required to generate the secure access tokens and also it will create a personal and password grant type okay so let's run that so encryption keys generated successfully personal access token created successfully and password grant so with this done let us load our database again and we should see these tables and in our clients let me increase the width and yeah name personal access client and personal uh, password grant client id is two secret is this so we will require this when we are you know um, requesting for the access token so um, anyways uh, the installation is still not complete once we have you know this installed we need to in our user t user model have a thing called has api tokens okay this is basically telling that you know the user model will have api tokens straight okay we need to import that use laravel slash passport has api tokens okay this is the place where we'll be finding it yeah okay so this is correct and once this is done we need to um, add the routes which are available with you know uh, passport so what we need to do is go into our auth service provider okay it's inside app providers and auth service provider in this we need to add the passport routes okay and because we are using passport we need to import that so use laravel uh, passport i think then it will be again passport so yeah passport p s s p o r t yeah this is correct hmm. yeah i'm able to go to this class so must be fine use is also giving me so yeah this is done and last is in our auth.php in the config there is something called guards and in that the api driver is token we need to change it to passport okay yeah so i guess that's all the setting which is required so what have we done we have used the service provider we have added the trait we added the routes and then we changed our driver for the api guards okay things are looking correct so far now what we need to do is see whether we are able to get an access token after authentication so one thing which we can always do is route list uh, where is it api auth yes this this is you know the post url where we will be sending our um, username and password along with a few details so that we get the access token back so let's do that first of all it will be a post so yeah uh, i'll have to create a constant called post data okay this will be an object in which i'll have grant underscore type okay it will be password gr and yeah correct then we will have client underscore id this we will have to get it from here which is two okay so this is two client underscore secret this is for now we are you know, kind of hard coding it but when i develop the application we will see how we can secure it but anyways this is going in your rest um no, call so yeah any network spoofing can uh, take away but yeah um you have to keep that in mind as a security uh, thing 
okay so we have username then this is password it has to be clear text so that's my password and scope will be empty and it's an HTTP post so we can send the post data and now quickly go here our URL is oauth slash token okay these are um, some of the routes which are already provided so we don't need to worry about them hit refresh it says internal error okay let's figure out what is the problem connection refused that's strange because we have been able to migrate things so let me do one thing close it and again serve and then try again where is the console all right so yeah we are able to get a response from that and it says access token is here and refresh token is also there now if you see in our um, api.php there is a uh, url which is slash user which has a authentication ap uh, authentication middleware which means if for some reason let's say i do this dot dollar http and do a get copy this url okay and make it api slash user then spawns console dot log response i will get an unauthorized error okay what is it post data fine let me comment it for now so the error is basically i'm not using the variable so refresh you can see it's an unauthorized you know error because i'm not logged in and that's the reason uh, i can't do a post i uh, sorry a get request so uh, later on so now in here we, i have an access token oh sorry why did i delete that uh, i'll cut it from here okay uncomment it and after the response i'll paste it here okay so now i can do a slash user but how i need to send a access token uh, as a header okay so the way we do that is again i create a constant which is called header it is an object and that header object should have accept and application slash json okay this is the content type which i am um, defining and then i will also say that i have an authori authorization header you know this is the reason if you remember in our course we added this authorization and content type okay because we are setting those headers if i don't do that i won't be able to send my authentication header anyway so yeah i'm going to send this it will be something like bearer so b e a bearer and a space then response oops let me quickly check what is the response oh um okay i remember so in my response there is body and then inside body i have access underscore token i think that's how it was and then in here i will pass headers as header it has to be an s this is the key and this is the value okay now refresh so first it's going to oauth token and then it's going to api user inside token i have body body and then access underscore token this is the token which i am getting and then i am getting my api slash user and if you see the request which i am making here uh, let me log refresh okay so first was auth token um, this was where it's a post request right so uh, where is it 
I always get confused. Okay, so this is it. Um, headers. If you see the, hmm. response header, request header. I think I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, this is a get or uh, yeah, this is the post. So I should have the payload. Yes. So this is the payload. Uh, these are the data points and then this is options. Sorry. And then this is a get request in this. If you see, I have authorization bearer and then the entire access token is added here. Fine. So this is how, um, you know, basically we are making sure that, um, you know, any request, if it is not made with the, you know, uh, bearer token. So for some reason, let's say I'm not passing the header. Okay then I'm not authorized to access that data point, right? So yeah, that's how we uh, validate and authenticate um, into our Laravel application um, through Passport. Uh, we are currently using a pass password grant type and we will be using the Vue.js uh, JavaScript framework to communicate with our application. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the video on Facebook and other social networking websites. Thanks.